Hey everyone, Stephen Janes here, and today's Android review, or lesson if you want to call it, will be about customization. A lot of people that I talk to, not just online, but as well as, um, you know, in conversation at work or school, whatever, ask me how I got some of these um, icons as and features on my phone, because a lot of them just, they buy their phone, they do what they want to do, and then that's the end of it. Um, I like to take it a step further, regardless of what it is, my phone, PSP, iPod, PlayStation, you know, pretty much everything. I try and customize it to the very detail just because that's how I am and I'm sure a lot of you out there are like that as well. So as you can see, I have a little impromptu Windows home screen. You got your start icon, your gaming icon, your documents, and your my computer. And these are very simple to gather. All you need to do is download Launcher Dock from the Android market and then once you've downloaded that just hold the home screen go ahead get your widgets and we're gonna go ahead and build one from scratch just so you guys can kinda see how the process is and there you go launcher dock we get that and now we have this little uh, menu that pops up and right now all these not configured just means that you have one two three four five six seven eight different applications that you can configure as part of this setting uh, you can also name the dock, which is kind of cool. You can just give it a name underneath so it uh, stands out if you want to use the same icon for a couple different things. There's also text and dock color that you can change. The launch button alters as well as sound and vibrate. So we're going to go ahead and create one. Uh, well, first, we'll, before we do that, let's give it a name. Let's just call it Cool... Oops a little trouble there with the space there we go cool dock all right so we'll go ahead hit enter whoops we don't want to do that actually um okay so wow all right so exit out of that so uh next thing we need to do is let's just customize how this dock looks so first of all let's go ahead and change the text you get a nice little color wheel here let's go ahead and make this uh blue like a little darker blue here uh the little center button represents the actual color that's going to be showing up and the left or the opposite side right left side however you want to look at it just shows you the uh, opposite spectrum of the color that you're choosing so we're choosing a dark blue and the physical dock let's choose uh, yellow my old alma mater, alma mater colors back in high school high school so we got a blue text and yellow dock alright and now uh, the launch button just decides whether you want to actually scroll through a wheel to get to your icon or if you just want to select the actual icon so let's go ahead I prefer whoops we don't want to do that I prefer to just select the icon on the actual dock but you can you know choose either or and then I'm gonna leave the uh, vibration on because every time you select an icon or an app I should say it vi your phone vibrates and that actually tells you that you have physically touched the button and that the app is about to launch so I prefer that just because sometimes you miss the app and it just kind of goes blank screen for a while and you're like okay what the hell just happened so let's go ahead and give our icon or our dock a cool icon you can see I have a couple of pre-installed ones now just go to the Android market and look for better Android better and just as it sounds better Android and they have all kinds of free icon packs that you can download these are the ones that I've gotten um, this one is pretty cool it's got a couple of Nintendo icons Mario stuff um, go back here and hit the Vista icons these are just from Windows Vista although a lot of these are uh, Mac related which is kind of awkward I don't really understand that but uh, if you didn't see it before this little golden ring right here which is the dot color I am just hitting that and picking uh, the icons Xbox 360 yeah I'm actually a PlayStation guy but this is this will have to do for now so let's go ahead and just pick one of these and it's pretty cool because uh, there's all kinds of neat things out there there's some for like you know like we're showing here the Xbox there's stuff for um, Apple if you guys are Mac users and want to kind of implement that on your uh, Android phone so let's go ahead and just take this goofy looking crocodile thing select that alright we've got our icon we've got our name now the next thing we need to do is actually add some applications so when you go to not configured and this is kinda neat because you can add almost anything you can add contacts which I don't necessarily do because I only talk to the same five people on my phone anyway and I have that through my five faves so let's go ahead and add application now this may take a while depending on how many apps you have installed on your phone I have a healthy number so this might take a few seconds 
and this will just give me some time to explain that launcher dock like I said is free earlier on um, it's really cool it's basically used to take eight applications and throw them into one icon okay so we got our um, applications loaded up let's just um, take AK notepad first one that we have up let's add a few more just so we can see what it looks like with multiple icons and I'm just gonna go down the list and add you know the first ones that pop up this is actually adding very quickly which is a bit of a surprise because when I was loading up my icons this took a while oh, sure enough I say something and I jinx the damn thing but what are you gonna do so uh, anyways you can set it up to you know add your contacts uh, if you don't have a T-Mobile phone but you have an Android system you can add you know what would be your impromptu my five faves just so they're right in front of you uh, you can also add like as we're doing maps or apps I should say you can also add a bookmark if you want to jump to a web page really quick and I've seen a couple of people uh, what they'll do is they'll add one launcher dock for their main programs another one for their main contacts and then another one for their main uh, web pages you know like Google or Google's actually in there by default but like N4G, G4 TV, MySpace stuff like that even though there's probably a better option with the MySpace apps okay so we've got a couple of apps loaded in you just um, go up here to save dock and now there you go you got your little cool dock here you click and hold it and you can drag it around just as you normally would any other whoops any other applications give me a second to readjust there we go and now when you select that app there you go there's your little pop-up you're customized with the colors you got the little apps ringing around and these just question marks just represent that we didn't select anything for those places but uh, showing you really quick oh and um, in case you didn't see that you can actually touch the center gear to bring up the settings menu but uh, just so you can see what this launch does when we go to save hit this now if I want to select an icon I have to actually physically roll this around which is kind of cool if you have problems um, selecting an icon yourself but for instance bringing up my main page you can see the icons are very generously spaced around so there's re there really should be no issues in selecting an icon stuff like that alright so that's just a brief tutorial on the launcher dock app this is um, a very easy to use widget um, it's not it doesn't require too much space like some of the other widgets so your phone won't experience massive slowdowns um, I have I might see some slowdowns now that I added this new one but uh, with these four it runs very very quickly and you can see I have you know this one for all my main settings I have this one for a lot of picture related stuff mostly my icon pack so I can kind of scroll through and change them every once in a while little PSP icon are my games there we go and then my little windows is um, all my oops sorry about that all my main applications that I use alright so once again that is the a combination of the launcher dock and widget as well as the free icon packs from better Android so I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, stay tuned there should be more customization for your Android phone tutorials coming up